What were the two pillars of the decentralized financial system and the conception of Bitcoin? Anonymity and privacy. Digital currency has surely been making headlines as a revolutionary technology that promises to change the way we handle money. But gradually, among the hype, one of the most talked about features of crypto, its potential for anonymity, is being brought into the stance. Sure, the idea of being able to make transactions without the need for personal information or government oversight is certainly appealing. But is it really possible? Can you truly use crypto anonymously? Or is it all just a myth? Hey folks, you're watching Crypto On Point. In this video, we've decided to separate fact from fiction and get to the bottom of the question, is crypto truly anonymous? Get ready to take a deep dive into the background of cryptocurrency and its relationship to privacy, the current state of crypto and privacy, the potential risks and limitations associated with using it for illegal activities, and the impact of regulations on crypto privacy. And not only that, but we will also make sure that by the end of this video, you have a better understanding of the complexities of crypto anonymity to be able to make more informed decisions. So whether you're a crypto enthusiast, a skeptic, or just curious, join us as we uncover how anonymous crypto is. Let us begin from the very basics, from what we know to what we need to know. Cryptocurrency touted as the digital alternative to traditional money has been making waves in the financial world for over a decade now. The idea of decentralized digital money, secured by advanced encryption techniques and with the potential for anonymity in transactions, has certainly caught the attention of many. But as the crypto industry has grown and evolved, it has become increasingly clear that true anonymity in the crypto space is not as straightforward as it may seem. The most well-known cryptocurrency Bitcoin was created in 2009 by an anonymous individual or group of individuals known as Satoshi Nakamoto. Since then, thousands of other cryptocurrencies have been created, each with unique features and characteristics. The decentralized nature of crypto and the use of blockchain technology, which is a public ledger that records transactions across a network of computers, allows for secure and tamper-proof transactions without the need for personal information. However, as more people use crypto, it becomes easier for others to track and trace transactions, potentially leading to violations of privacy. This has led to the development of various privacy-focused cryptocurrencies such as Monero, Zcash, and Dash, which aim to provide a higher degree of anonymity for users and with that, the definition of anonymity in the crypto space has been distorted. And that has given birth to a term, pseudo-anonymity. It means if you take necessary precautions, your personality identity remains, but your transactions are traceable and are open for the public to see. In simple words, the addresses to which money is sent and from, the date and time, and the value of each transaction are all tracked. The only thing which isn't is the identities of the people behind those addresses. The Crypto Anonymity Nevertheless, when talking about cryptocurrency and privacy, it's important to understand that not all cryptocurrencies are created equal. Some offer stronger privacy features than others, and others give importance to other features over maintaining privacy and anonymity. One of the most popular privacy-focused cryptocurrencies is Monero, which uses a technique called ring signatures to obscure the identity of the sender in a transaction. This means that it's difficult to trace a Monero transaction back to a specific individual. Another popular privacy coin is Zcash, which uses a technique called zero-knowledge proofs to ensure that the contents of the transaction are hidden from everyone except the sender and the recipient. However, look closer and you will find that even these privacy-focused cryptocurrencies have their limitations. For example, Monero transactions can still be traced if the sender doesn't take the necessary precautions, and Zcash transactions are not completely anonymous by default. And we are yet to talk about the biggest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. And you will be surprised to know that the first cryptocurrency that was actually established to encourage privacy and anonymity in the financial world offers little in the way of privacy. What happens is that Bitcoin transactions are recorded on the blockchain, which is a public ledger. The dilemma is that its associated data creates a trail that can suddenly make your entire financial history public information. As every single transaction that takes place in Bitcoin is recorded on the public ledger, it becomes accessible to anyone who is on the network. 
Apart from that, it is worth noting that there are various blockchain analysis tools and techniques that are now used to track and trace cryptocurrency transactions. Regardless of the privacy features offered by the specific coin, this means that even with the use of privacy-focused coins, it's not completely impossible to trace transactions back to the specific individual. And here is how. Yes, the Bitcoin addresses are anonymous. But if an address is linked to a real-world identity by connecting addresses to real-world identities, typically via KYC or AML policies at exchanges and blockchain analysis, Bitcoin offers no privacy. In simple words, sending and receiving virtual currencies is like making a transaction under a pseudonym. If a transactor's pseudonym is ever linked to their identity, everything they did under the pseudonym will be linked to them. What is all this leading to? All this information sets the stage to establish that while there are privacy-focused cryptocurrencies that offer stronger privacy features than others, true anonymity in the crypto space is not a given. Privacy Concerns in the Crypto Industry There's another side of the picture that needs equal attention. True anonymity offered by cryptocurrency can be both an advantage and a disadvantage. While it can provide a level of privacy and security for legitimate transactions, it also makes it difficult to trace transactions and identify individuals involved in illegal activities. As the dark web, a hidden portion of the internet accessible only through specialized software, has become a popular destination for criminals looking to use cryptocurrency for illegal activities such as drug trafficking, money laundering and human trafficking, true anonymity would make things even easier for them. It would provide them an attractive option for these illegal activities as it makes it difficult for law enforcement to trace and identify the individuals behind them. In fact, every year, it is becoming easier to track down criminals that exploit this industry. All thanks to centralized exchanges and platforms that are taking steps to comply with anti-money laundering and know your customer regulations, which can help to reduce the potential for illegal activities within the crypto industry. Cryptocurrency and the State Laws the cryptocurrency being truly anonymous also doesn't rightly strike the chords with the government, which is always looking to curb users manipulating the decentralized network for their own good. And that is why state regulators have intervened to look over the network. Many of these regulations vary from country to country, but they generally aim to prevent illegal activities such as money laundering and fraud. But one of the main concerns with the crypto industry becoming more and more regulated is that it is losing its essence and that these regulations have a negative impact on the privacy of crypto transactions. For example, laws that require exchanges to collect personal information from users can make it easier to trace transactions and identify individuals. Additionally, some regulators have proposed a travel rule which would require virtual asset service providers or VASPs to collect and share information about the sender and recipient of the transaction, including their names and addresses, when the transaction exceeds a certain threshold. This can have a significant impact on anonymity as it would make it much easier to trace and identify individuals involved in a transaction. Nevertheless, not all regulations are detrimental to privacy. Some regulations such as those that aim to prevent money laundering can actually help to improve the privacy of crypto transactions by making it more difficult for criminals to use cryptocurrency for illegal activities. So the crux of the matter is that the relationship between regulation and privacy in the crypto industry is a complex one. But at the same time, it is extremely important to strike a balance between protecting the privacy of legitimate users and preventing illegal activities. Apart from that, crypto giants also need to consider the detrimental effect of several regulations on privacy. Hence, in the ever-evolving world of crypto, privacy is a topic that demands attention. It's important to stay informed and understand the nuances of crypto privacy so that you can make the best decisions for yourself. Remember, crypto is not just about the technology, it's also about the people who use it. It's up to us as users to take responsibility for our own privacy and security and make sure that crypto is used for goods, not for illicit activities. Stay vigilant, stay informed and stay private. That brings us to the end of this video. Don't miss out on the inside scoop. Subscribe to our channel for exclusive updates and analysis on the latest crypto news.